Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome hey, what's back going to on? another episode of Guns Locked. I'm Gunther the Great, and today we're going to be looking at ski mask dreadlocks. You guys have requested this, so we're just going to jump straight into it. We're going to do this in order a little bit. So this is the first picture that I found of his hair being dreaded after not having dreads, of course. And looking at this picture, it does look like he could have took many routes. It the could first be too picture that I found because his roots are very put together, and the ends of his dreads are very loose. So it leads me to think that he went either with interlocking, or he could even have really, really small plaits, which plaits are just braids but it does look like he could be using interlocking for this it doesn't look like his hair is twisted because it wouldn't be that tight at the root and loose at the ends if he were to be twisting with locking gel or anything like that you would be able to notice by the tips of his hair that the tips would actually be well put together so he's not twisting right here my assumption is that he sectioned out his hair and then he started interlocking that is my best guess that he did interlock but his hair is about two inches right here um probably three or four inches outside of the dreadlocks if he weren't to have dreads they would be that long and it does look like he has a high top fade with his dreadlocks and that is a very popular style these days. Moving on to the next photo, we have him at an interview at Hot New Hip Hop, and I've seen him wear this style frequently to where he just has one pigtail in the back and he has those dreads put together with the rest just hanging down. And now I can see some dreads popping out of the back behind his ear, so it leads me to think that he might have a dread hawk, which is a mohawk with dreads. In this photo, you can't really tell, but in some of the later pictures, you're gonna see that he does twist his dreadlocks, and that's why his tips are very blunted, and that is the steps he went after afterwards after starting his dreads which a lot of people do do this they'll start the dreadlocks get the initial locking and then they'll start twisting because it keeps a clean maintained look and a lot of people do do that so in this picture he has all of them hanging out of the front and he has that pigtail in the back like i said and then i think there might be another pigtail behind his head but you can just see the dreads coming out popping out behind his ear but overall i can see why you guys wanted me to do a review on his hair because his hair actually is pretty cool but there's not really much to see in this picture but there is a lot to see in the next picture because you can see the better lighting right here and you can definitely tell that his hair is sexy and twisted because you can see the coils of his hair. Now a simple giveaway on if someone twisted their hair or if they didn't is you'll see coils which you can see that his hair is almost coiled right here but it is definitely locked up and his hair at this stage just looks very maintained and very took care of Um, because you see no freeziness whatsoever you do see that he does have that pigtail in the back of his head again right here but I think that's just the style he likes to wear and a lot of rappers or a lot of famous people with dreadlocks have their hair styled and fashioned to a certain way according to how they want it um, but everyone usually Usually just has it different but I think this is the most recent picture of him that I do have and you could just tell everything that his sections are made very well that it's maintained that he probably has a loctician doing this he just has an overall great set of locks but enough of this picture we're gonna move on to the next photo which is him with blonde hair which got me thinking what when did this happen because he doesn't have that tattoo on the side of his face right here but he does in the recent photo so this has to be an older picture so that leads me to think that he did have dreadlocks and then he just dyed them and then dyed them black again right after that that is just the whole process a lot of people do dye their dreadlocks and right here his dreads don't look as healthy but also there's not that much to see in this picture because he does have a hat on we do know how he started his dreads we know what method he uses now to maintain them and we kind of have a rough estimate of when he started his dreads it was probably with his hair being three to four inches and moving on to this next photo he's in a weird pose very weird position but you can see pretty good view of his dreadlocks right here on top it almost does look like some hair dye is peeking through on some of the dreads on the top so that does lead me to think that he did dye some of his dreadlocks and then just dyed them back and a lot of people do do this they'll dye their hair and then they'll dye it back to the original hair color and then it'll start to fade and you can see that hair dye or the bleach peeking through under all of his hair dye but overall great set of locks very cool hairstyle dreadlocks are just cool in general and a lot of people do rock dreadlocks and a lot of people frequently started rocking dreadlocks in the rap industry a lot of people are coming up do have dreads so this is a very big thing that is coming up and i think it's going to stick around for a while because i don't believe these guys are falling off anytime soon because a lot of people do listen to their music and you guys that is ski mask dreadlocks thank you for requesting this video since i didn't make this video give this video a thumbs up let's try to get a thousand thumbs up on this video guys i know we can do it you guys are awesome and the ammunition has just been growing lately but we are growing quickly we are about to hit 35k so let's get to 35k guys and then we're gonna get to 40k then 50k then 100k is coming soon but hey thanks for watching this video but other than that i'll see you guys next time peace